So thank you again, everyone, for showing uh, support the Service and Report. We're streaming live from Twitch, Instagram, YouTube, and we are trying Facebook Live today. So today's going to be a pretty intense uh, little day for us because a Service and Report, we're just not going to talk about subject matter and then not do anything just to almost gain glory from the topics we talk about. So first we're going to talk about a pedophile and then we are a dead pedophile and then we are going to tell us about I'm going to tell you about a sexual predator that we have in our midst and a certain report we're going to come together with other communities and we are going to cut out that cancer together and because a lot of these other communities you have a lot more subscribers I'm a piece of Viking trash let me have the leftovers of that because we are dying over here so first we're going to talk about Michael Jackson and naming a street about him in Detroit. Now, a weird thing for me for many years now, if I watch, and I don't want to admit this stuff, but I always said I'm not going to lie on the cam or live to you. If I listen to Jackson 5 songs, I almost cry. I have cried a few times because I feel really bad what happened to Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was a poor little boy who was a billion dollar industry. Remember, like Michael Jackson wasn't like owned by his family. He, no, he was owned by like the elite, elite. Because Michael Jackson wasn't making millions of dollars. Michael Jackson was a billion dollar industry. Not one billion, billions, like plural. And the way, almost a lot of way in Hollywood, that's why you're seeing with the, the Me Too movement, which is a smoke screen about the real reality that's going on because I don't feel bad for girls that stay in a room and they let some guy fucking masturbate into a plant and then they say they're a victim no I don't feel bad for Kevin Terry what's his name that big fucking black guy from everybody loves Chris he played cheeseburger in that Adam Sandler fucking movie he's saying some little white guy fucking molested him for a movie no, sorry, if you're a fucking seven foot, like a big, huge black transformer, you allow that to happen to you. Because I can tell you right now, I would love to be a big fucking black transformer if someone tried to do that to me. It'd, it'd be impossible. Unless I wanted that role so bad, like I'm telling you right now, a serious report's a little thirsty. I wouldn't let someone molest me. But if some dude was like, hey, you know, if you just sit right there, I will jerk off into that plant right there. And I'm going to give you a multi-million dollar development deal. I, I would do it. I'm not, I don't want to lie to you. I would do it. I wouldn't jerk him off. But if he's like, I'm just going to jerk off in that plant. Yeah, I'm going to do it. So a lot of these, but the, the real thing is that what these people do is it's more of a, they, they get these guys to engage in pedophilic um, activity. And I, people get mad at me when I say it's not so much about the, um, the sexual gratification of it or they do it because they enjoy it. They do it because it's like if I know you, your best friend, you know your best friend murdered someone, murdered his wife, or you know your girlfriend murdered her husband. And you ask them to do anything and you tell them, I need you to do this, that, that. You're, they're never going to argue with you. They're just going to act always like that's okay. And a lot of times I think they, in Hollywood and in industry, they get you to do these sexually like deviant acts, which the people are so thirsty to get fame and fortune and money and power that they do those acts because they think those people engage in them. But in reality, those people are just getting you to do those acts so they have the dirt over you. And I think with Michael Jackson, I think he was molested by numerous people in the industry. And I've always said, I think for Michael Jackson, what made him turn, I, people argue with me on this too. The reason he started to go white, make, turn himself white and try to scrunch up his body and become super tiny and all that stuff, I think it's probably a lot harder for a black guy to get raped by a white guy. Because I know right now, it sounds terrible, but like, say they both had the same wiener size. It's not, you don't have to worry about the big scary black wiener. I would take it a lot harder if a black guy raped me, and a bunch of uh, black guys raped me, than a bunch of white guys raped me. It would just probably, maybe that's racist, I don't care. 
I'm sure if you're a black guy, if you're a white guy, you've got to agree with me. And if you're a woman, you tell me. Would you rather... Well, you don't have to tell me anything. You don't have to answer that question. What the fuck am I doing here? But I'm just saying, I think it'd be easier. So, and I think that's why he turned himself into that little boy. And he, like, I probably cut off his little wiener because there's lots of reports that Michael Jackson had this super tiny wiener. I think he tried to turn himself into, like, almost into Peter Pan. It looked like he was trying to turn into, like, a, a Peter Pan to escape that reality of what happened to him and almost, like, justify it. Like, he was, like, an innocent little boy. But the thing is, Michael Jackson is an absolute monster because when he died, you can look this up on anywhere. The information is out there. Look it up. And make sure it comes from a credible source so you can verify it. The, the FBI records are out there what they found when uh, Michael Jackson died and they raided Neverland Ranch. And they found uh, lots of pictures of naked little boys, lots of pictures of naked men and women with um, children's heads implanted on the adult bodies, which is a, like a big tactic that um, predators use to normalize you know, the adult body to a child. And they found sexual grooming um, literature. But the main thing is they found a lot of pictures of naked children, naked little boys and little girls. And lots of pictures of adults, naked bodies with um, pictures of children. Like, it, if you ever had any doubt right there, that's your smoking gun. Like, this is from the FBI. And it's very... It makes you realize how deep that corruption goes when that never really went out into the media. Like it, if you look it up, and it's actually it was talked about in the New York Post and little little outlets, but like on back little pages, and it never came to light because so many people are involved in that uh, to maintain the power structure. And you know, there's at this point there's not many taboos. And if you look at it, they're almost now trying to normalize everything that used to be taboo in our culture. That's why don't ever believe they're legalizing weed because they they care about the conviction rates. They'll convict you for something else. Trust me. It's just to normalize the 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 the, 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 uh, the ta taboo. So that's where we're at. But. So, no, I would never, like, uh, name a street after Michael Jackson in Detroit. If I lived in Detroit, I'd probably be insulted. Unless they wanted to name it, like, it's in the theater district. Like, this street is in honor of the child, Michael Jackson, who was lost to the industry and who was exploited. Or this street is in honor of Michael Jackson, who, as a society... We let be exploited because you entertained us and we like to watch the parody that you became. Even though if we just took a step back, instead of just laughing at you, we could have been like, something's very wrong here. Someone needs to step in. Because any at any time, people can step in. Like, right now, I'm telling you, I've known this stuff about Michael Jackson for years. I'm an uneducated piece of white trash from Canada. I am sure the FBI and industries in the music and executives and other artists all knew this was going on but again it's it, to us it seems so surreal but it's it's so normalized and it's so like the norm like the way we're thinking in the grand scheme of things like how this is wrong to most of these people they're thinking this is the norm and they don't see anything wrong with it and the more money you have the more corrupt it gets and the more loose your morals get to maintain that money but so I that was just a nice little fluffer piece today to talk about Chris Kidd so I've had a lot of problems with Chris Kidd for like the last I'd say like two months I kept my mouth shut just because um, I've been trying to develop a little deal with someone which has started to come into fruitation and I didn't want to ruin it, but at this point, I feel it needs to be said after what I saw last night. So Chris Kidd is absolutely a sexual deviant pervert. And um, I, I believe, in my own opinion, he's a pedophile. And if you look at his post, about 20 times a day, he makes a post on his Instagram of something. Every post is something sexual. Like, it'll be like a kid sitting on his mom's lap and going... Oh, 
daddy sucked these dry, and it's like a picture of the mom's tits, or like always something sexual with a kid almost involved in the post. And this is 20 times a day, and I'm like, I always found it weird. I'm like, I discovered um, this guy from Queens Flip, and I always found it weird. No one ever called him out on this, and I'm, I'm watching, and I'm watching, and I'm like, last night, he posted a video of um, a rapper that I guess was uh, molesting his cousin and giving her all kinds of medication. And she was, I guess this video, she was always, she was very highly medicated and it showed, he actually showed the, the pornographic clip of this guy fucking his cousin. <coughs> Sorry. And it said in the caption, like, this yada, yada, yada was molesting his, raping his cousin who was heavily medicated from years of abuse from her cousin prior to this, who's a famous rapper. And I think his name was like a Ghost Kid or Ghost Kid. Who gives a fuck, some weirdo. But he, he's famous in like the hip hop world. Um, but he posted the, the clip and I'm like, this wasn't someone who wanted attention so bad and posted a clip. No, this is a sexual deviant who posts sexually Taboo, taboo to the fullest all day. Borderline to me, full blown pedophilic um, post all day, and then post this video of a of a man raping a woman and showing the pornographic clip, knowing that young kids, young kids are going to go because that's a lot of young New York kids I notice are around that community of Queens Flip and Chris Kid, and that little echo chamber that you have over there and I'm like so last night a bunch of kids went and looked at all your clips uh, taboo borderline let's just say borderline pedof pedophile content and they jerked off to a guy raping his cousin because you can guarantee when you're young 15 16 you jerk off to anything like 13 14 15 16 as a boy you're fucking your pillows. It doesn't matter. Like the, the, I remember watching Exit to Eden with fucking Rosie O'Donnell and being like, "Woo!" You don't care. It's just anything gets you going. And luckily, I didn't live in a in a time where there was corrupt imagery out there that I could stumble upon, stumble upon, and people that are somewhat mainstream um, artists that are promoting it, and it would have became. The norm to me, so I'm gonna fucking punch that cat. Hang on, I hope I can pause. Sorry about that. The little fucking bastard was clawing out my um, studio wall. But yeah, so there was an artist that were like making taboo sexual content like um, seem normal, and that like I would have got sexually off on. And because when you're young, your mind is very easy to uh, corrupt. And he is deliberately going out of his way to get young kids to watch sexually deviant, pedophile fucking little clips that he's putting on there and promoting rape videos and knowing, putting that clip on there, that those kids are going to jerk off to it. And I do believe he's getting a thrill off knowing that scenario right there that I just played out to you. He's getting off of knowing that kids are watching his page getting sexually turned on by all of his deviant fucking shit and it's a thrill to fucking him. And yet, so what are we going to have? He's the type of person that we need to keep away from our kids. He's the type of guy that destroyed Michael Jackson. So if you love Michael Jackson, I want you right now, do it for me. You're going to fucking cry after this video, I hope. You're going to watch Jackson 5. A, B, C, Chris Kidd's a pedophile, you will see. So, please, listen to the song, and then go look at Chris Kidd's fucking channel, because you're going to need to feel wholesome and righteous when you go there, because it's a whole lot of disgustingness. And leave a comment and say, Chris Kidd, you're a fucking pedophile, we're going to have to ask you to close down your account, because Service and Report does not feel comfortable putting content in this echo chamber and leeching off of people that have that name associated to you because 
There can only be one greasy person here, and that will be me. I will not allow anything else. Like, corruption. I don't know. Like, I always look at it like this. Just because it's happening online doesn't make it not real. Like, how I'm going to get maybe give a little thing to Queens Flip here. How Queens Flip sits on his fucking porch all day. And I see, I watch your, your Instagram lives. I think Queens Flip has actually a really cool little platform that he's developing that he's bringing in his kids. And even last night, I'm going to tell you, Queens Flip, you were borderline inappropriate the way you were talking with, I think it was your son and his friends. But it was, it was appropriate because, uh, okay. Um, it was appropriate because it was like a big brother almost and like giving them, that was really disgusting. I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I was going to burp and I was like, I had to do something. There is no, I probably could have paused it. I didn't think of that. Um, sorry that got, off. but it's like a big brother talking to his little brothers there, having a great time. And I could see how it's beneficial, um, especially from what I've learned from you fucking disgusting Americans. You have a lot of problems going over there. And I think content like that can be really beneficial to the kids. But for you to have that type of content and to push those limits for something to be benefit, you have to keep your community, because this is your community, even though it's online, clean and we're not saying you can police it you can be the pc police but if you see a cancerous fucking person you can absolutely cut that cancer out and it's your fucking obligation and when you go do that because if you don't do that today queen slip or at least address this video that means you're a pedophile supporter i hate to say it but that's the only the only um conclusion we can come to because you did create chris kid to most of us like I know I would have had no idea who that motherfucker was if it wasn't for you. And I think there's a lot of people that are in the same boat. And since you do make, you did create the monster, you do make content that, it's a gift to be able to make that type of content. I couldn't make that type of content. I'm too wild and crazy. But you found a weird niche to be able to do it, which is really cool. You gotta make sure there's nothing disgusting that can tarnish that or bring harm to that. And as a man, instead of being on your porch and talking all that shit to the Instagram people, pull up. I ain't scared of nothing. Pull up. The guy lives close to you. Pull up to his house. I'm not saying you have to beat him up. At least pull out your camera and say, why do you think posting that type of content? Because like I told you, do remember this. Last night, a bunch of young kids, guaranteed, looked at that fucking questionable material that is leading into pedophile fucking territory, if not already there, and jerked off to a young girl allegedly being raped and molested by her cousin, and that's been happening for years, and she was on medication. And he, like I said, got a thrill off of that. I believe that in the bottom of my heart. And guess what? Those are kids going back today guaranteed watching that video and so I think you're obligated to do something and if you do go do something I know you have that little Chinese guy a service and report definitely needs some um, promo and some attention so if you could take a picture of me and like cut it out and get that little Chinese guy to wear it when you confront Chris Kidd on this like sexually deviant behavior that you although you didn't create his behavior, like his disgusting personality and who weak, the weak man that he is, is that's just what created it. You are responsible. And I know as a little tiny fucking white guy from Canada, 5'8", who's literally punched people in the face and nothing happened. Like, I'm not exaggerating. Nothing happened. I was shocked. Um, I would go confront him. You're a fucking big fucking fat black guy with a whole bunch of big, huge black friends. There's nothing stopping you from taking care of the situation in like half an hour. Give me one black guy with a Honda Civic with a fucking camcorder. Oh my God, I could fucking take over the world. But I'm a one-man army over here. And I'm going to continue with the, the Chris Kid thing if uh, you don't. Which, that's typical. 
You have another man on your network, another big black guy named uh, Shampoo, who was being bullied by an, an East Indian guy who pretended he was black. And Shampoo obviously didn't know how to deal with that situation either, and I had to take care of it. But hopefully you'll be more humble than that and give me some... Give me a little tribute. Pay a little tribute to Service and Reporter. It'd be nice. Don't be like Shampoo. We're trying to bring people up here. Shampoo, I still love you for all those years of entertainment where you said you hate black people and you would never work for a black person. And now you are sucking the balls of black people to get, just to hang on to that little fucking shred of fame. I don't mean that as an insult. I just, it's, I'm a little shady that you didn't fucking give me any love after I had to stick up for you because you were too stupid to fucking deal with a rich. And you had to regurgitate everything I said in my videos for months on end. But again, so service report, it's just a quick little Sunday video. Every day we have to put out a video now, seven days a week. We have no choice. So hopefully on Monday we will be having, it won't be on Monday, we will have like the real pieces coming out though. We will have the story with uh, Sean King and the expose, which will be a real piece. We will have the Jordan Peterson um, story, which will be a real piece. It won't be just a vlog like this. We will have, yeah, we have the Sean King. We have the Jordan Peterson. We have the Rebel Media. I'm probably going to actually get into this Chris Kid thing a little bit more deeper. Um, yeah, and I remember there's a couple other little stories we're going to get into that would be more pieces. But the main pieces we're working right now are the Jordan Peterson and Sean King, which... The Sean King, actually, I have people from, I met on Instagram, a bunch of fucking crazy black guys that are going around and trying to get a piece of Sean King DNA for us so we can actually send the DNA into and get like a DNA test on Sean King, which will be, oh, I need that so bad. And that really looks like it's going to be happening. So if not, we'll still have the, the whole report come out, which will show proof of his family. Like Sean King is whiter than me. It's insane. And like I say, I think it doesn't bother me the way like it does black people because I'm not black. Like I think it's hilarious. I'm like, how do you guys allow this? And you know, you follow the money to his donations and his charity and the people that he supports. He's, he's a smart white guy, nerdy white guy. He gives the money to the right black people that will let him keep his little lie as long as he lines their pockets. But we can get the DNA. Service and report is going to be on the fucking map. We need this more than anyone. So again, thank you for supporting us. Thank you for being here. It means the fucking world. We're trying here. It's a, it's a work in progress. We're a one-man army. So we have a lot of technical issues. Graphically, that's becoming an issue. So thank you again for supporting us. In every video, we get a little better. And thank you for taking time out of your day. You could have been anywhere, you were here, so clearly you had nothing better to do like myself, so we're birds of a feather, motherfuckers. Love you.